just banged my knee on my desk and that really hurt. But I didn't say a bad word, which is impressive. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon. So you will be alerted every single time I upload because every month we talk finances all the time. Everybody wants to know about finances and we are using our lives as an example of what not to do. So it's that time of month again not that time of month. So let's go over the budget and see what we've got coming up next month. I'm excited about our debt payoff this month. So the first thing we have on our budget is the same thing we always talk about, our utilities. And in our utilities, we put our cell phone at 188.84. And we are also putting in our storage unit at 270. If you don't understand why we have a storage unit, I did a whole video on it and I will link that up here in the eye in the sky. The next item in our budget list is transportation. And in our transportation category, we have our gas. And while gas was very low last month, we are going to put in $30 again this month and um, just in case we need to buy gas. But as most of you know, we have an electric gas hybrid vehicle that runs on mostly electric between for our commute, which is amazing. So we, we don't go through like a whole tank of gas in a month usually anymore. We used to. We used to have a $400 gas budget every month. It was intense. Now we don't. I love hybrid. I'm always gonna have a hybrid or an electric. I want, an, I want an electric car, a fully electric car, so I never have to buy gas again. That'd be awesome. I hate road trips, so I'd much rather fly. <laughs> then we don't have anything for an oil change, and we don't have anything for Easy Pass. And I did learn my lesson last month. I need to record all of our budget meetings because Mauricio would vehemently denied that he said it until he watched my video. It was hilarious to watch him watch that because I, I was in the room while he was watching the video and he was like, Joe! So in our next category, we have insurance and tax. We have our uh, USAA insurance, which is 159.73, but that does not factor in to our budget because that comes directly out of my paycheck. So I don't include that income or that, that outgo either one, but I want to have it on here so I know it's an expense. It includes the CMFG insurance, which I love to hate. And I've talked about a million times because I hate it that much. CMFG is $12 a month. And then we have our USAA life insurance for me, which is $91.65. And that also doesn't factor into our budget because we have a, uh, the exact amount we use through USAA coming out of my, um, my paycheck. So it's a non-issue. And then we have Mauricio's life insurance, which is $35.83. And that is our insurance category. In Melina's category, we have before and after care, which is $590 a month. And for her school lunches, we have $40 a month. And then we only have $20 for Melina's miscellaneous expenses. And the vast majority of these items were not allowed to pay in cash. So we keep that in our checking account and write checks for it. But like field trip, which is like 10 bucks usually. So we have nothing in the Mauricio and Wendy category. We both need clothes or shoes of various sorts, but we have really decided that paying off debt is far more important than the fact that we almost have holes in our shoes. So we are going to push them to their very limits. And when they start actually falling apart, even though, I should show you my shoes. Those, those are not my shoes. Well, those are my shoes, but those are my like weekend casual shoes. Those are not shoes I can wear to work. If I could wear those shoes to work, then we'd be set because I wouldn't need new shoes. And this month we are going to continue with the cash envelope system. It was fantastic last month. I was really pleased with the way we did. And so we are gonna continue that this month. Now I will tell you that our grocery budget was blown. And 
And I'm not sure what happened with that. We just ended up spending way more than, than I thought we were going to spend. And if it continues, I'll have to raise the cash, um, for our expenses. But right now we have it set at $250 again, and I'm just going to try and tighten that up a little bit. And then we have our blue money at $200. The dry cleaner is only $20 because I only have one jacket that needs to be cleaned. And just in case I need to take something else, we'll have a little bit of cash in there. Mauricio's haircuts are $25. And then we still have $100 in the family outing uh, cash envelope. And I will tell you, we had such a blast having that money. We took Melina to a local fair and it was so much fun. She just had a great time and we blew through that money. So what did we learn? We learned we can go on one weekend outing if we're not careful with the money or maybe two, even three weekend outings if we actually like restrict ourselves a little bit. So we're going to see how we do this month with that. But it was, it was just wonderful to be able to go out with the family and have fun for several hours on a on a Saturday. It just was great. And then in our reoccurring fees, we have our iTunes reoccurring fees at $29.97 because we have three apps that are each $9.99. Couldn't be $30. Had to be $29.97. It's just annoying. And then Weight Watchers at $44.95. Audible at $14.95. Skype at $25. Amazon Music at $3.99. And then all the other expenses are annual expenses. And in my YouTube category, I have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $4.99 for PicMonkey, $5 for Backblaze, $9.99 for Umi Downloader, $3.40 for Morning Fame, and yay to those of you who have been asking, I am finally going to break down and get a PO box. It's going to be $39 for three months and we'll see how it goes. If I get mail, great. If I don't, then we may not renew it. I didn't want to sign up for a full year because in this area it was like $130 and I wasn't willing to spend $130 unless I was sure it was going to be necessary. So we'll see how it goes for the first three months. And then, then we'll, we'll decide if it's worth keeping from there. And then in our medical, we have 77, 78 for a cardiology bill for a bunch of medical tests that I had. And I have a review of all those tests coming up for $35 for the copay for that. So love going to the cardiologist. Yes, that happens when you get old. And then in the work expenses category, I have $22 for parking for Mauricio. That is all we have in the work expenses category. And then our sinking funds are the same as they are every month. We have $150 for medical, $100 for the car repair replace, $100 for the Christmas fund, which we will be pulling out very soon. $50 for an emergency trip to Columbia, $25 for miscellaneous Molina school expenses. We don't need anything in our emergency fund. $100 for summer camp next year, which really ought to be $500 a month, but I just cannot do $500 every month. I really should, but I can't. $100 for work travel expenses, and $100 for our 10th wedding anniversary, which we probably will not end up spending. We'll probably put it on debt, but that's okay. For now, that's what we're planning. And I am so happy to have Amazon back this month. I, you have no idea. There were so many times that life became inconvenient when I had to go out and buy stuff. And I will let you know how we did with our Amazon no spend month on Wednesday when I talk about the October debacle month in review. It'll be interesting. But Amazon is coming back, but we're going to be approaching Amazon a little differently. I am, unless it is an absolute emergency, like I need it to do something this week, 
or I have forgotten something, I am going to save all the wants for the following month. So this month we are going to put $126.65 in the Amazon budget. I already know exactly what I need to buy. And when we have our budget meeting, I may actually put 20 extra dollars in there just in case, but these are things that I need to get. Some of them are actually gonna be hopefully reimbursable by my office. They're little things I need to get for the office. And trying, I, I can either buy them out of my own pocket and potentially not get reimbursed and have them immediately, or I can wait for them to get ordered and it might take three months for me to get them in. And I kinda need them, so I'm gonna go ahead and chance it and see. So we have our additional $100 in the cushion category, same $100 we put in every month same hundred dollars that we blow through every month. So last month I started doing a monthly debt update as to exactly where we are with our debts, exactly where our money is going with our snowball. So I will go over our debt um, this month also so you can see exactly what we paid and where we paid. And this month we are paying off our smallest debt. Woo! I am so excited. You have no idea. One, I am super excited because we have like no joke, nine bank accounts and we are going to be closing a checking account, a savings account that we have at Navy Federal. And with that, there is also an overdraft. And so we're going to be closing those because it just is becoming too cumbersome having these bills come out of here and this bill come out of here. And we have two debit cards that look identical. It's actually four because I have two and Mauricio has two and they look identical. They just have different numbers and using the wrong card. When you think you're using one card, you're using the other card and Mauricio never knows which card to use. So we've decided as soon as that overdraft is paid off, we're going to close that account. And I've been gradually moving the auto drafts from that account over to the other account. So it should work out really well. Um, should make my life significantly easier. So we will be paying off the overdraft associated with Mauricio's account this month. And I cannot tell you how excited I am. Um, our minimum payment on that isn't really going to add much to our snowball because our snowball is fairly large right now. But we will be paying off a total of $6,922. And I cannot tell you how annoyed that I am that I could not come up with $88 in the budget more to lift us up over $7,000 in one month. I am that crazy. <laughs> I really wanted to set our minimum payments at $7,000 that we would pay a minimum of $7,000 to debt every month. But legitimately, I don't know that we can. It just might put too much tightness into our budget. Are there places we can cut and get over? Could I cut out the $100 expense uh, cash envelope for family outings and get over $7,000? Uh, Absolutely. Am I going to? Not this month. Maybe next month, but not this month. You never know. With Christmas, I don't see the point in having... Oh, yeah, I do, because we got to do the Winter Walk of Lights. Hey, did you see that video? I did it last year. It was so much fun. I, I'll, I'll link to it up in the eye in the sky. That was that I love Christmas time. I love it, love it, love it. So check that video out. It's fun. So that is what we have going on for this month. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe. And I will put up two videos for you to keep on watching. And this video up here is my latest one. And this video down here, down here, not here, down here, is the one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.